There are significant uh, differences between uh, the really the races and ethnicities with myeloma. So the, probably the most obvious one is that people of African descent are twice as likely to have myeloma than Caucasians and quite a bit more than people of Asian descent. So the incidence is higher. It's, it's not because of socioeconomics, it's not because of exposures, it's not because it is a phenomenon that's seen not only in the United States but around the world um, that people of African descent have higher, a higher incidence of myeloma. The other thing that we know is that they are less likely to have high risk cytogenetic lesions. There are several studies that show that the 17P, the 414, um, the additions of chromosome and amplifications of chromosome 1 are less likely to occur in, in patients of African descent than their white counterparts. However, and a one high risk lesion, a one high risk a risk factor, which is extramedullary disease, is more likely to occur in people of African descent. We also know that the 11, we, we suspect there's some data that is shifting, but that the 1114 translocation, which is a target for the BCL2 treatments, is higher in people of African descent um, than in Caucasians. Also, uh, black patients present younger than their Caucasian counterparts, they're more likely to have anemia, um, high LDH, um, uh, renal insufficiency, um, but not as high to have bone fractures because black people have higher bone density than white patients, therefore less fractures. But there have been lots of studies, uh, there have been actually multiple studies that have been done in comparing uh, treatment outcomes between blacks and whites. And if everyone is treated the same, if everyone's treated equal, the outcomes are the same, if not, if not better in some studies. Um, but, we, but we have made some mistakes in, some, in doing some of those clinical trials because we found out that things like, like there was one study that showed that bortezomib was more likely to occur, uh, more likely to have neuropathy in black patients, and then with linal, uh, linalidomide um, that was found in black patients will cause darkening of the skin. And because of the low enrollment of those groups historic, of blacks historically, those were kind of missed and then brought out 20 years later, which again is why it's important to include diverse populations in clinical trials.